Okay, so I just recorded a video. All the audio didn't save. Really freaking sucks because I was, went into detail. Um, anyways, this is my Photoshop document. This video, I'm going to run you through basically the whole process of like how the gear creation uh, works and packing and getting into game and everything. Because um, really, the hard part of this um, is getting it into game. It's really not designing or, you know, whatever. But, and lining it up, etc. That's hard. But, but it's really just getting into game, so, and doing it the right way. So, everything in this document here, I have PNGs. I basically, what I do when I make gear is I put it as a whole group and you can see that everything is kind of done in like shapes and here if I make it from scratch I, it's done in shapes or um, so that's how I like doing it and then I merge it all together at the end uh, when it's done so there's a lot of little pieces in here and then sometimes I have like vector art from uh, Illustrator and stuff but this is the base gear design and then I have everyone's numbers up here, ready to pack and change if need be, logos, etc. But, um, so this one, you basically, from here, you, everything that MX Bikes reads is a TGA target file. Um, so, I have the three target files that you need for gear on my desktop right here, ready to go. Um, so first of all, if I'm done with my gear, I have everyone or their number on it. Um, everything's ready to go. I do file, save as a copy, desktop or wherever you're packing it. And then I turn this into a TGA file down here. And then I click writer and I replace it. It's called, you're going to pack it out as writer all the time. Like it'll always be named writer. So I'm going to pack it, replace it. That's what it just asked me. And then it's going to ask what target option you want. For the rider file, you're always going to do 24-bit. Um, so we'll pack that out. And then that's done. So next we have our norm file. Our norm is going to be up here. I always put it at the top of the document. Um, it's going to be this purple. It's a norm. Um, so the norm will always have a alpha channel turned on. Um, so that's going to be, if you don't see an alpha channel in your document, you can delete, like if there's one, delete it, and then just click new, new layer down here, and then make sure you turn on uh, your, all of these, your RGB um, files. So you're going to save as a copy to your desktop, on and save it as writer underscore in with this little thing checked right here, alpha channel turned on. So make sure that's on and then save it as writer underscore in, replace. And then, so your norm and your reflection file will always be a 32 bit targa. So save it as a 32 instead of that 24 with all these turned on and it'll save perfectly. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your reflection file. So you can turn that on as well. And then it's going to have the alpha on, over top it as well. And then you save that as a writer underscore R. With this turned on as well. 32 bit as well. So the same process as your norm. So now that that's done, everything is going to be packed through a uh, software called Painted. Um, you'll need to download this if you don't have it. Um, it reads the file pretty much and turns it into a PNT. Um, so you can direct read your desktop or wherever you save it. You're going to see you have your three files here ready to go. To name it, whatever you want. I'll name it blah blah. Copy this name right here because you're going to need it in this next window to pack it out as the same. You need to copy and paste the same name. It has to be the same name. So after you click enter, you're going to wait until, because it's doing, it's reading it, it's doing its thing, 
and you're going to wait until this turns red. Basically, it's the software telling you it's able to close without um, corrupting the file. So now that that's done, it's ready to close. You can see now. So you have this file, and you can take this file and basically put it into the game. So you're done. So this is your finished product. This is what you'll send to people. And yeah. So I hope that helped out. Um, if you have any more questions, just let me know.